Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. This is a quick demonstration to show how gravity is an imaginary force. It doesn't really exist, just as the globe doesn't exist. Here we've got a key on the scales and it has a certain weight that is being measured by the scales. Or we can push down with a real force on the scales and that is measured in kilograms, ounces, grams, whatever, okay? It's a physical force, yeah? But when it comes to measuring the alleged, supposed, imaginary force of gravity to make us believe or perceive that we can stick to the outside of a spherical Earth, time is used to measure, yeah? F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. The rate of acceleration that something falls through the air is measured with time. Time is abstract. This, the time isn't measuring a real force. These scales measure a real force, real pressure on the scales. It doesn't matter how dense the object is, how, how much mass the object has when it's dropped through the air to measure its rate of acceleration. It could be this key, it could be a cannonball, but it is uh, measured with a rate of acceleration and acceleration is time. Time is abstract, it doesn't really exist, it's just now and now and now and now extended over time. <laughs> yeah, it's abstract. This is a real force, you understand? And this, uh, this key being weighed on here is simply due to the fact that it's an object that has mass and density in the medium of air. And it's just going down. Doesn't mean that down becomes all directions around a sphere towards the center of that sphere, that's just a mathematical model, yeah? This weight is a real force. Acceleration is t distance over time, distance traveled over time. And something falls through the air when it's simply denser than the air and it takes a certain amount of time to fall a certain distance. It doesn't matter how heavy or how much mass that object has, they're not measuring the real force of that object like the scales do. They're simply measuring with an abstract concept, time. Yeah? So gravity simply doesn't exist, just like time doesn't really exist. So the globe doesn't exist. It's not a physical phenomenon. Gravity is not a measurable force in the same way that you can measure kilograms of force. It's measured with time. All right, so that's why they created this equation. And of course, uh, we, we know that to push something along requires an external force, but to drop something doesn't require anything other than the object being denser than the medium it's in. Okay? Thank you very much.